everybody today is saturday and we are house shopping during the quarantine i know i know you're judging us you are you are or maybe you're not but we have made the decision to become homeowners yeah homeowners in quarantine times during the quarantine time well maybe not homeowners right but shopping Shoppers. Yeah, home shoppers. Um, I guess later in the video we'll explore and share more about our reasons for wanting to own a home in this time or just wanting to own a home, you know, you know, during this, you know, period of time. But we'll share more, so just stay tuned for that. But we are on our way to our first home tutor. I am going to be taking you guys along the journey of finding a home. Um, I may or may not maybe disclose the one we chose just depends on how I'm feeling about it but I will be taking you guys along the journey um, of just touring the different homes and of course Yinka knows a, like a lot more than me at least about homes investment all kinds of stuff so I feel like it'd be really really cool if he could educate you know you guys and share some information about home ownership and interest and maybe what else do you call it accrual what else uh, mortgage, equity. equity equity mortgage and just other stuff I feel like you know, uh, people of color or just maybe anyone in general might not even know or understand really about all, you know, home ownership entails. There's a huge disparity um, between people of color as homeowners and, you know, yeah. So that's, that's a problem. So we need to fix that, okay? So anyways, we are off to our first home right now. And then um, we are going to just keep looking around and shopping around. There are a few that I'm like, I really like this home. Um, but the one that I really, really, really liked isn't going to be built until six to eight months. So that's kind of a bummer. But nonetheless, um, we're going to see what we see. And we prayed this morning that we would just find the home that we would want, that we'd both love. Um, some things that... I personally want in a home are a nice kitchen. Y'all know I love to cook. The kitchen is low-key my second home. So um, I'm hoping to find a kitchen with an island. Babe, what are you what is what do you want in a home? Like what do you desire in a home? Uh, I think for me I just want a place that feels at home, you know, that really feels like a safe uh, yeah, just a safe solace, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and a place to come home to. Of course, I want it to look nice. You yeah. Know? Um, but yeah, also I just I just want a good home, a nice home to come back home to. Yeah. Relax, chill. You know, we do have a kid. Mm -hmm. Like there's space for that to happen. Yeah. Um, for sure. Also a clean, modern look. And yeah. I'm not really like the Love old school modern looks. home kind of do. I just like the like sleek modern look. So mm -hmm. that's really why I'm hoping find you see yeah yeah she really wants an island so I, I really I want a kitchen too. island y'all <sighs> and i really want a kitchen island and a nice master's bathroom that's what i really really want so if those things are there i'm pretty much sold and we're good to go and i like a modern look as well i like really like nice white cabinets and i don't mind a, like a a barn kind of look as well like i'm okay with like a rustic kind of feel too but it has to be like modern-y white and stuff like that so i can put like green and just kind of like lift up the you know the environment but i'm super excited for interior designing and just like furnishing the home and all things like that so we're looking to move this summer we have a couple of months to kind of get our life in order and pack up and then move so um yeah let's go ahead and get this journey started um this would have been the first day that we'd be looking for a home. I don't know if we'll be looking for a home on any other day, but this is our first first day at it. So let's do it. You ready, baby? Let's do it. So this home was giving me modern barn kind of rustic vibes. Um, it definitely was a little small for my liking, but I did like the accents. Um, I love that it had a gas stove as well as the overhead air filter for cooking. Um, I loved the marble-ish, kind of like a cow. I don't know, like it was like a marble cow look. I, I just liked it. 
um, and it just looked really smooth and different. Haven't seen that before. As you can see, there's a kind of barn door. And you know, I'm very common to these kind of houses because we live in Waco. So I'm definitely not surprised by the kind of barn look that they are going for here. As you can see, the floors are um, not wooden. Um, they're kind of like, uh, not cemented, but just not, I don't know, I really actually even don't even know what they are, but they just look different. Um, I love the little kitchen kind of island side. Love the sleek matte sink top. Um, and here is the pantry because you know your girl loves to cook. So let's see what that's looking like. And then we have some shelves to put things on, which super cool. I love the little bee honeycomb um, wall shiplack, what do they call it? Shiplack, shaplack <laughs> that they have on the back. So that looks really good. Um, so of course the backyard looks great. Grass is super green and it's pretty big. Love a big backyard because I do want to, you know, have a space to run around, have a garden, um, and also just have a place to go where you are still in your home. So this backyard is massive and super ideal. I'm gonna continue with the home. And here we have, I think, where the dishwasher is supposed to go. Oh no, the fridge is supposed to go. And then here we have another countertop and shelf area. And in this room, we have the washateria room. It's a little small, but it can definitely fit a washer and dryer in. Here we have kind of like a mud room where you just kind of hang clothes and stuff. And then here we have the master bedroom and then the bathroom, as well as the closet. The closet is a decent size. I wouldn't say it's like tiny, but you know, it's a decent size. Has a sliding door on it. And of course we have the bathroom with some cabinets. Love the white cabinets as well as the um, knob, the accent knob, I really like the shape of it. And here we have me. <laughs> here we have the sinks and the shelves. We see that there is a his and hers setup, which is so important because although sharing is caring in marriage, you need your own stuff sometimes, okay? So here is the shower. I love the wall. It just looks very hotel or like, you know, kind of spa, sauna. I love that it has a seat to sit down because, whoo, child be tired sometimes, okay? Um, but as you can see, that's basically what the bathroom looks like. This is the master. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the other room. So this is basically what the other room is looking like. It is a little smaller, but this would definitely be like a guest room or you know, some like that. Um, it's cute, but you know, it's 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 a room. It's it's a room. Here we have the closet. It's not a walk-in, just uh standard closet that you can put your stuff in and then I think this is actually like the mud room where you can hang coats I don't know why there's so many here is the other room this could be an office a nursery or whatever else and then here is the other bathroom not a huge fan of the wall on the shower but here is the bathroom from this angle All right, so wrapping up with house number one, and now we are going to share some of our thoughts. Okay, so quick debrief. Thoughts on the home? Thoughts on the home? No. <laughs> thoughts on the home? I thought it was dope. Pretty, mm -hmm. pretty nice. Uh, just design. I mm -hmm. love the outside. I love the backyard. The mm -hmm. backyard was huge. And um, the fencing around it, I also loved. Uh, what else did I love? I loved the master bath. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, otherwise, the floor obviously she gonna talk about that. But wasn't the biggest fan of the floor. You weren't. No. Okay. Um, this is your review. And I also wish. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, for me, I would say that um, floors for sure were a no. 
Um, it wasn't as spacious as I would have liked it to be. Yeah, that too. It wasn't very spacious at all. Um, yeah, that was the first home. And I did like the white. I did like the barn effect that it had. I did like the modern effect that it had. The backyard was huge. It was massive. So those are really good things about the home. Um, what else I like? I like the master bathroom. I really liked the um, the shower and the bathtub. They're just really nice and just the white, you know, it was really nice. Um, and basically now we're off to the second home and we will be looking at that one too. All right, here we go. House number two. And as you can see again, very barn rustic kind of accents on the home already. We're gonna go ahead and go inside and we are looking at some floors that I think are really looking good. I think they're wood. I can't remember exactly what they were, but I do like the color of them. The gray walls are very cute and the kitchen was a whole mood. Like, look at how cute this kitchen is, guys. And it has an island, and you know how much I love islands and how much I want an island. So I really loved this. Um, that chandelier is super cute as well. This is basically where the dining table would go. And the kitchen was just cute. Like, I could live in the kitchen. Like, just let me live in the kitchen. So loved kitchen looks because it's just, you know, I love to cook, so. Being in the kitchen is where I am most of the time or where I want to enjoy my time in the kitchen. Sink, deep sink, always key. Here we have an electric stove. We're not doing gas here. And then I just love this little design. I just really loved it. It was really cute. As well as the stove, um, the air vent that it has. So that was really nice. I love the backsplash. Is that what they call it? Yes, backsplash. <laughs> and it was just cute. I love the kind of built-in microwave. Um, and these are what the cabinets are looking like. So I assume that's where the fridge would go as well in that little pocket. So moving along, we have the mud room where we can hang coats and hang shoes, hang shoes, put shoes and do stuff like that. And then we have this back door leading to the side of the house that I will check out in just a little bit. Just another view of the mud room. I do think it's really cute. Like, you know, like farmhouse type stuff. Um, like I said, it's very common in Waco. And um, here's one of the bathrooms. And then let's go ahead and look at the, I believe, I wanna say this is the master bedroom. And this is the size of it. And then this is the closet. Not too big, but it's a closet, nonetheless. And then over here, we have, okay, I think this is the master be be bedroom. Honestly, guys, I think that the rooms are both the same, but I think this is the master bedroom because the closet's a lot bigger, so my bad. The last room was the guest room. This is the master, and then this is the bathroom for the master, so. Looks very similar instead, but yeah, you know, it just, you know. So this is the bathroom for the master. We got two sinks, his and hers. We got the shower. And then we are done. So this is basically the second home. Very quick tour, and we are going to go ahead and share some more of our thoughts. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below with which homes you liked or did not like or the things that you liked or didn't like about them. So outside we can see this is where the side door was hanging out at and we have this kind of fixer upper, you know, barn house effect going on here. All right, 30 second review of the home. All right, 30 second review. I loved the uh, floor. It was nice, solid. I also loved the island. Loved all the space in the living area. <laughs> Definitely way more than the other place. Um, the backyard was kind of weird. It was the same size, but you know, the fencing wasn't all the way uh, there. And then you can't even get to the backyard from the back. You gotta get there from the side. That's just weird. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then the mass was kind of small. Yeah. So, no, not feeling that. Yeah. Yeah, so same with me. I feel like um, definitely the the definitely the kitchen was beautiful.
beautiful so beautiful I think it definitely kind of makes you like walk in thinking oh this is gonna be an amazing home and then kind of see the rest and you're like what's going on so that was a little bit of a bummer but I love the kitchen I uh, love the floor the look of the floor was nice but it kind of still looks a little cementy to me I don't know it just I guess there's more is that cementy to you okay I guess it has more texture which you know is a good thing for me but um yeah so what else did I like I like the white cabinets I kind of like the barn look but I kind of felt like it might be too much almost like the door on the side kind of looked a little too 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 barney barnish so I feel like when I took a picture right next to the the door it looked like I was at a whole wedding venue so that was a little weird but nonetheless the house was nice um and that's our second uh, touring of a home. So stay tuned for other homes. And um, we are headed to our third one now. This is basically a modern home, looks very nice, and we're going to go on inside and check it out. So the floors look good to me, really like the floors already. I'm gonna go ahead and peek inside this room, which is one of the bedrooms. I love the open window. And then we have this guest room, or another room. And we have closets. Ooh, this closet is tiny, okay. Um, and then we have the guest bathroom, so one of the bathrooms over here. And then we have the closet over here. as well as the little, I like this little accent up there, this little cave look, that's, that's just cute to me. So we have the living room area and then an island kitchen kind of connection going on here. In this room over here, I believe this is gonna be another, oh, this is the garage, okay, all right. This is the one, two car garage, and then we have a washroom over here. And then here we have the master bedroom with these two windows. And then we have the master bathroom as well as a kind of peekaboo toilet back there. And then we have a shower. So this is really cute. I love the shower and the tub set up back to back. That's cute. After that, we have the closet, and y'all, this closet was huge. Like, it was massive. Like, I would have just bought the home just because the closet was like, you know, miles and miles and miles. But it's a pretty big closet. It wasn't that big, but it was a pretty big closet. <laughs> Don't mind my exaggeration here, but it was a nice closet, and I really like the size of it. I think it's one of the biggest that we've seen so far, so I did enjoy looking at it. So here we have the island, um, a living room area. We have the backyard over here. The backyard is a decent size as well. This home is still in the process of being built, so we don't know what to expect fully from it, but we have some ideas of what it's going to look like. So 
so obviously it's just sticks everywhere so it's really hard to see but that's gonna be a bathroom one day and that's the island and then this is going to be the backyard right here this is the living room area then this is the backyard not all of it but you know what i mean so this is going to be the brick they're going to use to build the home so like i said we don't have a lot of information to show because you know it's still in the process of being built but this is the last home that we are viewing for today because we are exhausted and mm, encouraged discouraged all of all of the above really but uh, we we did realize that buying a home during this time is a little hectic as well as um late i guess in the market because a lot of homes have already been purchased for the season so we're kind of just you know um searching and looking for a home that will fit our needs for this current season of life this is not our forever home but just a home that we are looking to have and maybe use it as an investment property one day um but yeah here we are just looking at the different dimensions of the home and what it's going to look like. This is one of the rooms here. And then this is going to be the island, kitchen, living room area. And then here we have the walkway and then this is a, a bathroom right here. In the next episode, we will be sealing the deal and locking in a home. We will also be talking more about equity, interest rates, mortgage, and different things that all pertain to home ownership and the process. We will be filling out some paperwork and also taking you guys along the journey verbally to share with you how that went. So feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Bye.